Using the QuickBooks online mobile app, you can invoice your clients directly from all of your mobile devices and send to customers from wherever you are. To begin invoicing a client, simply open your mobile app and go to the shortcuts menu. Select Invoices. Then select the Add New Invoice near the bottom of the screen. In the first field, select the name of the customer or project you are invoicing. Or you can select the Add button near the bottom of the screen, if this is a new customer. For this example, we will select an existing customer. You can assign an invoice number or leave it blank and the QuickBooks mobile app will assign the next available invoice number in sequence. Today's date is also automatically entered and it will bring in any invoice terms if you had previously set those up for this customer. You can change any of these details by pressing on them with your finger and selecting a different option. Next, we select Add Products or Services to add line items you will be charging to your customer on this invoice. The app displays your list of products and services. In this case, we will be invoicing the customer for design services. Here you can enter the quantity and rate you want to appear on the invoice. Simply press on any one of these numbers and you can enter a new value in its place. Enter any applicable tax codes for this product or service. You will also see a comment field down at the bottom and you can capture any details you would like the customer to see on their invoice for this particular line item. Once you are done updating your product or service, select Add and now it appears on the invoice. You can edit this item further by simply pressing on it with your finger and here you can modify the quantity or any of the relevant details and save once again. You can remove it entirely by pressing on the minus symbol next to that line item. Or you can continue to add more products and services to this invoice by selecting add product or service again. Scrolling down, you will see the total for the invoice, including any applicable taxes. Right below this are two additional text fields where you can create messages to your customer to appear on the invoice itself or the customer statement. Simply select either field with your finger and begin typing your message. Once you are done entering all the information for this invoice, press Save and you will see confirmation that the invoice has been created. Next step is to send this invoice to your customer. You will see that option displayed under the Invoice status. Let's select Send Invoice. Here we can see QuickBooks brings in the customer email address as well as providing the subject line and email message to the customer, which you can customize if you would like. Scrolling down, we can also see a preview of the invoice that the customer will see when they open the email. Last step is to press Send. Here you can see the invoice status and that the invoice was sent today. When the customer views the invoice, the status will update. Additionally, if you have payments set up and your banking connected to your QuickBooks account, you will also receive notification of payments and subsequent deposit updates. Use the QuickBooks online mobile app to create and send invoices to your customers at point of sale or anytime you are away from the office.